first. A New Mexico man is searching for priceless pieces of his native heritage that were stolen from his truck. This after attending a powwow at Black Mesa Casino. Action 7 News reporter John Carnelli is here with details. Yeah, that's right, Shelly and Doug. Here's his story. Ashkia Trujillo loves his Native American roots and enjoys sharing his culture and history with others. But his cultural items he uses to educate were stolen from him right here in Albuquerque. Ashkia Trujillo woke up Sunday morning to a surprise. After our um, stay at this hotel, uh, I noticed that our truck had been broken into and vandalized and, you know, a lot of our possessions and belongings were taken. What was taken from Ashkia includes a headdress and a purple jingle dress outfit. So I wish I could have at least just got my stuff and put it in the tr uh, hotel like I usually do. You know, the prayers behind each and every item is what we feel is taken from us. Since the items have been taken, Ashkia has been passing out flyers and visiting local pawn shops to try and recover his stolen treasures. His search is going statewide. I'm actually going to uh, Grants, New Mexico to drop off some more flyers to uh, some people that reached out and want to help and, you know, put some flyers up in the Gallup area as well as uh, uh, Western um, New Mexico. The stolen items come as the issue has made its way to the United States Senate today. I rise today to ask the Senate to send H.R. 2930, the Safeguarding Tribal Objects of Patrimony Act, to the president's desk for his signature. The bipartisan legislation aims to prohibit the exporting of sacred Native American items. Under current federal law, it's a crime to sell certain protected Native American cultural objects, things like the Yakima Shield here in the United States. But there is still no federal law prohibiting the export of stolen cultural items and requiring the cooperation of foreign governments in recovering them. KOAT covered a story back in 2019 about this Acoma shield that was missing since the 1970s. It was later recovered after the Pueblo saw it was being sold at auction. Ashkia has hope his prized possessions will one day be returned. By maybe creator somehow, he'll, he'll bring back those, those blessings because yeah, you know, there's there's a lot that goes into these these regalia, like I mentioned, the the prayers behind it. The legislation presented today was passed by both the U.S. House and Senate, and will now head to the president's desk. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action Seven News. If you have any information regarding these stolen items, contact law enforcement.